game as he can go. So that, that thing is the biggest one. Everyone else is healthy, ready to play. I think Tommy looks good. You know, he's looked good though a couple weeks and hasn't been able to go. So um, we'll see. We'll see if he's able to go or not. How much uh, work was Tristan Alvano able to get in this yeah, week? Tristan's out for the game. Yeah, Tristan's out. How much easier or harder does it get to fill out a travel roster the further into a season you go? Um, when you when you don't have a very good team, it's a lot easier. <laughs> as you, I mean, if you have a good a good team, it's a lot harder because as a guy gets banged up, you know you want to ha you have other options, so many options, you know, so you want to have hey an eleventh old lineman or you know maybe an extra corner. So we, we've got a lot of good young players that. Maybe they're in the red shirt years, but they're. This is a game. Maybe we need them at, to step up and play in. So, um, um, yeah, I think they're, these are, they're, they were hard decisions this week. What's the doubt about uh, number six on their D line, Kamara? I think he has five sacks. He's been pretty disruptive. Just the challenge he presents. I, well, they do a tremendous job with their line games and twist games. You know, they're they, they've had a they've never trailed. So they've had a lead in every game, and they're able to come out and just attack you and rush you. They've got a great defense, great design. Um, he's an excellent edge rusher. He's got, you know, he's got, he's got uh, speed to power. He can beat you with the inside move. He can take the edge. A lot of those guys, a lot of those guys who have all that, they can't also take the edge. He can take the edge, and they do a great job with some of their twist three-man games. You know, bringing him up and under. So um, you know, we'll see all of that. You know, so you take six, you take 41. 99 is one of my favorite players I've seen who came from James Madison with them as an interior three technique, twitchy. Um, the nose is a big, powerful man who can push the pocket. So they have an excellent D-line, excellent pass rush. How useful was the, the extra week for a guy like Gunner in particular? It got, kind of got thrown in the mix midstream and, and getting some extra time with Donnie maybe to, to work on some things. Yeah, I think every day when you're a, I mean, when you're a redshirt freshman left tackle, in the Big Ten, um, you know that's a challenge in and of itself. And um, um, every day you get better. You know, I mean, I, I think you see our goal as a program is to be a team that always improves as the year goes on. How do you do that? You improve each player. And so having that time, you know, where he's, you know, he's 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 been the starter for two weeks, right? You know, so um, having the time to get extra rushes and 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 really the biggest thing with him has just been. Working on bowling versus power rush, and uh, you know I think he he can set. He's a big man. He's got long arms. Just you know working that. Um, so you know when, when you're in camp and you're the three and you're going against the threes a lot or the two going against the twos, but you know he's the he's now the one. He's going against James. He's going against Jamari. He's going against MJ. He's going against big powerful men. So it was good for him. Indiana's quarterback was in the portal last winter. How much scouting did you guys do on him at that time, and has any of that been helpful now? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm a, I can't. I won't talk about recruit. I, I don't know recruiting wise. I mean, uh, you know, Tony has a lot of history against him because they, they they played Ohio U at Syracuse. He's an excellent player in a great system, and I think the biggest thing they have a lot of weapons around them, right? They have a really good O line. Uh, they have an excellent tight end. They have two great backs. They've got about five receivers who can make plays, and uh, but I think they just have a good system. Like they they know what they who they are and they know what they do, and um, he's flourishing in it. And um, but yeah, Tony Tony played him, so he's got some. He's got a feel for him. You mentioned last night, like Kristen goes out there with nutrition like a day ahead, and you've said before, Doctor Hell, but I think scouts all the places in the off season. Could you just speak on like the advanced planning that has to go into the road trip that you guys do to be ready for, you know, to have everything in order? Yeah, yeah I mean, Doctor Hell's the spearheads it. Um, her and Thomas Bowling and Charlie Foley go out. You know, a lot, a lot of these towns, like, hey, this is the place you stay. Like, when people come here, they stay at the graduate. Like, so there's – but there's some places that, hey, you can pick a couple different places. Like, hey, do you want to stay in Bloomington? Do you want to stay in Indianapolis? Or, you know, so they go out, they look at the hotels. They, they measure everything. Like, this week, I'm like, hey, how long from the airport to the hotel? How long from the hotel to the stadium? How long from the stadium back to the airport? You know, and they have all those answers mapped out. They know, you know, everything from TSA to security to food to the airlines to, you know, who's sitting on the plane, where they're sitting, leg room. Um, they do a fantastic job, and yeah, everyone handles their area, right? Kristen handles her area, um, so very grateful to them. And they do all that work, and you know something goes wrong, and then they scurry to fix it. So we're we're really blessed to have a great staff. Jamari Bowler, how healthy has he been? And then with that, how much was the bye week valuable for him to be, get close to 100? Yeah, yeah, I mean Jamari hasn't been healthy. He's he's been one of those old school gut it out type guys. A lot of guys when they're when they're not healthy they they just say hey I'm not going to play you know I don't want to look bad 
uh, Jamari is the, the, the kind of the vibe of our defense. You know, he's one of the leaders of our defense. So he's battled through and given us what he can give us. And uh, I think he's significantly more healthy this week. You know, the, the buy, you know, six games in the Big Ten, you know, three Big Ten games plus an excellent Colorado team. Um, you know, it's a lot of football, and uh, I think the bye was good for him as, as it was for everybody. But, you know, it, it, all Indiana had the same bye, so I'm sure they're healthy and, and, and invigorated too. You know, you guys are locked in on the game and the process, but what would it mean to the program to be able to move on from the bowl drought and, and beating a top 25 team? Uh, I'm only focused on the game. You know, I, I, I answered that question last year and never got there, so I'm just going to f- focus on the football and, and um, make sure our guys are locked in, you know, that, that they're, they're all in on, on everything that we're asking them to do, and it's been a great week. So, uh, to me, it's just, just about us playing well versus a great, great, great team. How's your team coming off a of bye week and this being a big noon kickoff <coughs> game and undefeated opponent? What's your message to the guys before you take the field on Saturday? What I just said, uh, you know, focus on us. We can't control the other team. It's the same message I said at UNI, the same message I said at UTEP, same message I say every week. You know, the, 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 team, the team that plays the best wins. It's not the team with the best roster. It's not the team with the best record. It's not the team who won last week. It's not the team that has the, the better music in the locker room. It's just the team that plays better wins. So have a good, have a good week of preparation. You know, just be, be, be in the moment one snap at a time. Don't worry about the scoreboard and go play. And uh, you know, what, what I respect so much about this team that we're facing is, you know, I think they've outscored opponents in the fourth quarter 80 to 17. That's a team that's, you know, they're one score ball games that they pull away from because they stay in the moment. But that's because they got a bunch of that's a veteran team, a bunch of guys who've won a lot of football, um, and they know what it takes. And so I think our guys have gutted out two straight wins. You know they've had some big moments. They took a tough loss. They learned from that. And uh, so we're just going to focus on us and just go out there and just play. Thanks, Coach. All right, thanks, guys. Good to see you.